Hi guys, so today I want to talk about uh, Amara La Negra, the breakout star from Love and Hip Hop Miami. Now, she's most definitely the breakout star. The moment she stepped into the camera, there has been tons of articles written about her. I mean, she just really thrust into the spotlight. And one of the reasons is her, the main storyline on the show, which is her skin complexion. Now, she is Dominican, but she's what they call an Afro-Dominican. She's black, but she is of Latin origin. She's She was born in Miami, even though her mother was born in the Dominican, moved here so Amara would have a better life. Her real name is actually Dana. Dana de Lenas de los Santos. That's her name. Okay, so... And she became a star for her music that she sings in Spanish in the Dominican. And she wants to cross over and become a American crossover artist. Okay, so, and this is what her storyline is all about. And the storyline on the show from day one showed how she's facing racism within her own Latin heritage, okay? Spanish people also have a tendency to be racist, according to skin complexion. Okay, so this blew up the minute she stepped on the set. People were saying that you know, she's too dark, she's not cute enough, she'll never make it in this business. Other people were saying she's faking her skin complexion. <laughs> it's really crazy. And she's wearing an afro just to get attention. It sounds crazy. So much so that she was forced to start putting images on herself, of herself, on her Instagram account and give interviews saying, I'm not faking my skin complexion, people. This is real. This is me. This is real. I mean, it sounds crazy, but it really has been all over the media since the minute she stepped onto the screen. And she really had to defend herself for being dark. <laughs> I mean, but it gets worse. Then she granted an interview with The Breakfast Club a couple days ago in which she was talking about her struggles and her problems with racism in her own community, how she wanted to become a crossover artist, and, you know, pretty much saying everything that she's been saying since day one. But only this time, Charlemagne asked her, do you think that Cardi B, who is another Latina, she is um, Dominican. I think she's Dominican. Anyway, she's still Latina. If he thought, if Amara thought that um, that Cardi B is where she is in the music business, and that's at the top at the present moment, because she's light skinned, she's a lighter Hispanic, and Amara basically smirked into the camera, indicating yes, that's exactly why Amara. Um, Cardi B is where she is. Okay, so this sparks more controversy. Then, um, Amari's, I mean, um, Cardi B's sister, Hennessy, you know, like the drink, um, got offended and starts saying, don't say that my sister is where she is because she's a lighter shade of brown than you are. This sounds crazy, people. This really sparked a nationwide conversation. People were team Cardi B, Team Amara, they were saying that, a lot of people were saying that the lighter brown people have a better life than the darker brown people, and it just set off a controversy. Now, me personally, I think this conversation is ridiculous. I really do. You can't say a, li a lighter person has a better life than your life because you're a darker shade of brown, and I'm talking about shades of like one, two, three, four, five basically in my opinion the same shade but this sparked a controversy i thought it was ridiculous because i could see how hennessy and cardi b could be offended you're saying cardi b isn't where she is because of her talent she's there because she's light i if i was cardi b i would be offended by this you know the music industry is small and the next time you run into cardi b she's going to remember that you're saying mm, not so talented you're only there because of your skin complexion this went on and on and on, and you can go on for days, who's right, who's wrong, because in my opinion, it boils down to personal opinion. I mean, some people might think 
Carly isn't talented. Cardi isn't talented. She's where she is because she's lighter shade of brown. Some other people might think, like me, Cardi B's very talented, and we don't know her struggles. Cardi B seems to be a hard worker, and at the end of the day, I think she's talented. I mean, I know a lot of like skinned Hispanic women that are not at the top of the charts and have no talent. So, you know, I could see both sides of the coin. So, I was glad when that kind of died down. Well, it really hasn't died down. The debate is still going on and on and on. But now, Amara is back in the news. And for a good thing. Now, me personally, I think Amara is very beautiful. She reminds me of Celia Cruz. Do you guys know who Celia Cruz is? The Cuban singer that really got to the top of her game and she kind of did it without really bashing <laughs> you know lighter skinned Cubans she got to where she is because of her talent and she reminds me of Amara rather Amara's a dark brown cocoa brown butterscotch brown it doesn't matter to me I think Amara's gonna shoot straight to the top because she's talented now she's already a star in the Dominican and in the a Latin market and she's in there because she can sing take a look at her I want you guys to listen to one of her um, Spanish hits but I want you to listen to the tone of her voice <laughs> She's very talented. The girl can sing and very beautiful. And me personally, I think Amara was going to make it no matter what because I feel that talent plays a big part into it. It's not all of it, but it plays a huge part into it. Well, I guess I was right because she's back in the news today. Now, VH1 uh, released a snippet of her new crossover crossover song. And so take a listen to it. The public is going crazy. People are falling in love with the song, the snippet, just the snippet. And so they are filling up VH1's um, blog saying, I want to hear the whole song. This sounds really good. I feel this is going to be a hit. Listen, it looks like Amara's going to make it not because of the color of her skin, but because she is talented. She's been in the entertainment business since a very young age. And at the end of the day, she's beautiful and the girl can sing. Now, I'm not going to say she just made it because she was a darker shade of brown. I'm personally going to say Amara's going to shoot straight to the top because she has talent. A lot of talent. So, es bueno ver tus cienos realidad. It's good to see Amara's dreams coming into real life. So congratulations, Amara. And as a Latino, I feel that you are going to be a huge crossover hit. Nice to see you make it and stand next to Celia Cruz. I'm not going too far. I really think you will be standing near the grades. So that's what I have today on Amara. Let me know in the comments section, what do you feel about all of this controversy going on about Amara? Is she only going to make it? Is Cardi, Cardi B only successful because she's a light-skinned Hispanic? Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that notification button for more stories like these. Until next time, talk to you then. Adios!